everyone. Welcome to the Dreamcatcher podcast, a place where your dreams can find a voice. Bushido is a term that literally means the way of a warrior. It's been used in Japan since the 9th century when brave samurai soldiers would protect their feudal lords. Today, Bushido is seen as a set of ideals that lead to fidelity to one's values and self-improvement. My guest today, Yoichi Utebi, believes that Bushido can serve as well in dealing with our personal and collective challenges. Yoichi Utebi is a movie producer and lecturer born in Japan in 1968. Yoichi grew up in Beirut, Lebanon and New York City, where he was exposed to multiple cultures and ethnicities. After 12 years of experience in marketing and management in IT companies, Yoichi decided to join Happy Science, a spiritual movement in Japan as a minister and lecturer, and produce movies such as The Real Exorcist and The Cherry Bushido. During our conversation, Yoichi is going to talk about the Samurai's Bushido Code of Conduct and Ideals and how we can apply it in our lives. Bushida is showcased in his new movie, The Cherry Bushido, a film about a young devotee and a group of friends who unite to protect Japan from the threat of extinction by its neighboring country. If you like what you heard, please don't forget to like, rate, share, and subscribe to this podcast. Thanks. Hi, Yoichi. How are you doing today? Okay. Thank you so much for having me on the show again. Thank you so much. I'm doing great. Yeah, and may I say konnichiwa. Uh, yes, it is konnichiwa. So, konnichiwa. It is so nice to have you back on the show. Uh, this time Thank to you. talk about your new movie, The Cherry Bushido, yes. and its core message about the Bushido Code. And I'm really mm-hmm. excited to have you here mm-hmm. to talk to us about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, I have to say, I watched the movie over the weekend, and I, I really, oh. really, I really liked it. I felt like Thank I was so back much. in beautiful Japan, you know, mm-hmm. uh, with mm-hmm. all the cherry blossom trees and the temples in the backdrop. I was mm-hmm. like, oh my goodness, I, I feel like I'm back, back in Kyoto, Thank you, so much. you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, because yeah, I not, not to... everybody, yeah, not everybody yeah. watches the movie before the interview, so I, I appreciate very much. <laughs> Because everybody's so busy, you know, it's so yeah. busy, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I had to get a, I had to get a sort of feel of what, sure. what it's about and the mm-hmm. themes of it for us to talk about it. Right. So, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course I watched it and it's a, it's a beautiful movie. I really enjoyed it. And I love the message, the, the message mm-hmm. behind it. It's very important. Um, so Yoichi, let's start by talking about the inspiration, uh, behind the movie. Uh, why mm-hmm. did you want to create it? And, uh, what inspired the story behind the Sure. Story Shido? So, uh, actually the story was written by, uh, the person named Ryuho Okawa. I think we talked about him last with as well. He is the founder of a spiritual organization called Happy Science from Japan and with one of the largest largest spiritual movement being around for 40 uh, over 35 years and he is the original story writer so he's the one who created this basic story original story and the producers and we also have a director who directs the entire movie uh, the, uh, creativity and I am the producer one of the producer so we all came together to kind of uh, build the, the actual bricks put the meat on, on it, you know, the story and create a, a entire full, full set of movie, a two hours movie from the basic story. So, you know, um, Riho Oka was, uh, he gave us the story five years ago, believe it or not. So, you know, he, and it's so timely because it's uh, the, this movie is about the uh, 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 danger of ex- extinction of Japan by a missile attack. From neighboring country called Sodora, which is this, you know, you can imagine which country we're talking about. We, you know, yes, we don't yes. specifically <laughs> name it, but uh, uh, there's a extinction of a uh, danger of extinction. So, and, and a girl, uh, she's here, okay, she mm-hmm. stands up as a hero, she awakens to her mission, mission with her friends, and she fights to, to defend Japan from this uh, Sodora Republic and also uh, the demon 
demon that's uh, living on the spiritual world behind, who is con trying to control this uh, country, Kusodora. So it's very similar to what's happening today in this world, not just about uh, in the Asian situation, but also the European situation in, in the yes. world is now turning around. Like it's it's unbelievable what's happening now. But correct. So you know, he gave us this movie, the original story, about five years ago. And usually it takes about uh, a couple of months to put, to actually shoot the film. And post-production takes about eight months. So, uh, you know, we started shooting about a year ago. We started shooting last um, uh, March and we released this movie in October. So uh, until, you know, last year it wasn't, it wasn't this bad, right? But uh, now when we released it, uh, not October, I mean, uh, it's February, we just released it. When we released it, it was just a, was it cut in a good way, in a bad way? Was it the perfect timing to show this movie and spread the message, the importance of this movie, Bushido Spirit? So, I it wasn't my inspiration, but I'm, I must say it was a huge inspiration that came down five years ago. The movie, this movie, has to be out there to the world today, and I'm Correct. I'm very grateful that I was able to be a part of this movie as well. Put yeah, it that way. yeah. Yeah, and it is very timely given what's you know currently happening uh, in Europe, as you said. Yes. Um, and I noticed that there's a huge mystical element to the movie mm -hmm. because there's a yes. lot of astral traveling and out of body right. experiences. Mm -hmm. So, um, why did you decide to incorporate that that piece into the movie? Sure, because uh, you know Bushido spirit is. Bushido spirit, by the way, some people probably doesn't know what this means. It's a code yeah, of samurai. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, within that, that, that kind of a, the morality and integrity and, and the code of all life, whatever it is, sometimes we miss very, very, very important core importance of about spirituality and how about faith. And we can talk about it later, but, you know, how we need to be more humble about who we are. So I think, you know, spirituality is probably the one of the core important messages that we want to uh, convey to the world. But in order to do that, we, we that's like at the core. So that comes first, in other words. Then the story kind of builds up. So, yeah, so it's kind of opposite way, but uh, so spirituality we believe is very, very important for us to understand. Yes, yes. And um, and another aspect of that is, of course, the Bushido principles, which you weave into the mm -hmm. whole storyline. Um, yep. So why don't we talk about that? For those mm -hmm. who don't know, I've never heard of Bushido. Sure. Wh what is it and why do you think it's still relevant today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Bushido is, uh, again, I mentioned it, it's like a code of samurai. Then I think people understand what, what that is. Oh, it's a Japanese samurai, you know, like Last Samurai type of Yeah, and the movie idea. The Last Samurai, because uh, yeah. I know Ken Watanabe, he mentions it in one of the scenes. Yeah, that's right, Bushido, yeah. right? So, yeah. uh, you know, it's supposed, supposedly it was uh, uh, established like 800 years ago in Japan of a swordmanship of samurais. But not only that, they incorporated or integrated together uh, uh, Zen Buddhism idea, and also uh, Shintoism idea. Shinto is like a traditional uh, Japanese uh, uh, religion. And also uh, Confucianism, which is a, it's a basically religious type of idea, philosophy from China. So uh, that all integrated together into swordmanship and became, became uh, the code of samurai. In other words, how the samurai should act and live according to everyday life. So it was not just about, you know, how to shine your sword and how to use a sword, you know, it's like a technical side, but it was more of a spirituality in, in how to live your life. So yeah, that so really way of being. Back, yeah, that really became the backbone spirit of samurai. And that kind of really, you know, came down to, uh, as, a, as a time passes by, it became one of the spirit of, of, of Japan today. With, we're losing modern days Japan. We're losing it. That's why we need to reinstall, uh, re, re, uh, you know, re, uh, recover or retrieve this to the, uh, the true spirit of business spirit, which is not just for Japan, but it's for the world. I think. So and that is what is think, Why do you think we need to restore it? Because uh, we are we human beings are getting a little bit too arrogant. 
we think we are uh, the god of the earth, who we like the creator, and, and more we think about uh, being arrogant, we become selfish, right, and self-centered. And everybody thinks they are the right, they have the right, they are the justice. And that's when the conflict starts to hit. So I think uh, in order for us to, to sit back, okay, uh, especially in this COVID very difficult age, it's a turbulence type time, I think we need to sit back and really look into within ourselves, not too much into outside world, but also at the same time, we need to look more into ourselves and reflect upon ourselves. So this kind of uh, uh, spirituality or the cold, or the well well being you just said, I think it's very, very important for everybody in the world today to to think back and, and yeah you know, find it yourself in other words, yeah right, so it's yeah. about humility, it's about having a sense of duty uh to the world yeah. around us mm -hmm. yeah there's a there's a thing called uh, uh if you look up seven uh virtues of Bushido or website yeah. seven virtues. You see mm -hmm. tons and tons of uh, work. but we say it's not seven; it's eight. Uh, so uh, one one is like uh, righteousness. You know, what is right and wrong from from you know uh, as as a human being, and mm -hmm. also uh, the courage. Sometimes you need to stand up and fight. You know for what you think is justice. What is right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you know another th that third one is respect. Respect is is really foundation of communication between me and you, a human to human. You, we need to respect each other in order to understand and be able to speak to each other. So we need to respect each other. Also, compassion. Compassion is love, love that gives. You need to care and, you know, have sympathy for others. And also, honesty. You have to be honest, you know, uh, because uh, you have to be truthful to yourself. And that's the only way you can be truthful to others. If you are not truthful to yourself, you can never be truthful for others. So I think... Honesty is very important, and also the honor. You know, honor is again nobility, morality, uh, integrity, all the great things that humans should have. The honor, and the last mm -hmm. one is loyalty. But you know, in samurai days, loyalty was from you to uh, you know, the shogun, the top, right? But today, I think when we uh, 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 in, uh, transfer this into to the modern day loyalty, I think it's about selfish selflessness. In other words, yeah. you know, uh, don't think too much about yourself, but be loyal to others. Think about others' happiness in order for you to become happy. And the last one that we're missing, the eighth piece, is the faith we talked about. Without right. the faith, these virtues doesn't really click. It doesn't work together because sometimes it can flow into your own self, eight, seven virtues. So we need to have the faith as an eighth virtue. So this eighth point we just talked about is is something that we all need to, to have. If we can all have those eight virtues in ourselves, we can become superhumans and not just being strong, but also be very uh, compassionate in, in, in sympathy and love. And, you know, I think we should be able to understand each other. So that's why yeah. I think this is very, very important. I, I so agree with you. Um, yeah. And I, I just want to go back to what you said about faith. The so When you mm -hmm. talk about faith, um, are you talking about faith in ourselves or faith in other people? Can you just clear, clarify uh, that? Faith, faith in higher energy source. Sometimes okay. people have faith in Jesus Christ. Sometimes okay. people have faith in Buddha. It could be Allah, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Any any god, uh, you know, Hindu has their own god, Shiva. So I'm not saying it has to have. It has to be the specific name of the god that you have to believe. But you have to have. Uh, religious faith or the faith towards a uh, higher higher energy above the universe got it because got it. without that you know we think we are the, the god or there because all the science the, the we the progress of science so we think science mm -hmm. is like the god science can win over anything but you know it's not true there's something much much bigger much and bigger, higher yeah. energy. And you don't have to call it God, that, right? You can call it a higher power yep. or yeah, yeah, yeah universal sure. forces. But you need, yeah, you need to be humble. Uh, as humans become more humble in order to understand the true virtues, I think, of Bushido spirits. Of course, having faith in yourself, faith in others and everything all together, but as a core portion of faith, something that is much higher than you, to be humble. Right. Yeah. 
Right. Mm. And are these principles still practiced in modern day Japan? I would imagine it is because there is a sense of humility um, yeah. and honor. Mm. That's what I picked up on when I was there. I felt like it was mm-hmm. already in- yeah. integrated into the culture. Yes. But is yes. that changing now? Yeah, I think we're missing some of the portion, like, uh, I don't know, courage, maybe. We are not courageous. We, uh, we, we are not decisive. Like, just like you saw in the movie, Japanese government cannot decide, decide. They always say, oh, we're concerned, we're concerned, but they never yeah. decide. So that kind of mindset is like, it's, it is throughout the Japan. So we don't want to, people don't have a tendency, tendency want not to decide, but kind of let it go. And hopefully things will turn out better. Yeah. But nowadays, sometimes it just doesn't work like that anymore. You know, especially all the dangers that's coming around Japan and about Asia, yeah. Asian side of a danger. Yes. Uh, that's, that's, so that's a kind of warning. You know, this movie does have a kind of warning message yeah. to, to Japanese people, Japanese government, that sometimes we do need to wake up to the reality of what's mm. happening. Okay. We are still living in a little bit of dreamy, you know, pay, pay, peaceful world that we ideally, we ideally, we, we, we hope, we wish it would be like that. But in reality, sometimes it is not so. We don't need to realize that, I think. Yeah. And I think this would also apply to the rest of the world, right? So Japan, I think Japanese people in, in, in general, we are very honest. I think you've been to Japan. We are yes, very uh, yeah. compassionate. We respect each other, and, uh, yeah. and you know, we we more than so, any other uh, country I've been to. Yeah, really. that that I agree. I, I totally agree. So I think that's like a strong point of what Japan is today. But we are we missing some important important pieces. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you also talk about the bushido maxims. Uh, is that mm, different from mm, mm. what you just mentioned? Or is it yeah, so thing? you know, uh, Bushido spirit is like it's the same thing, but you know, sometimes uh, in modern day, uh, you need some kind of a, a, a guidance or, or, or ideas of how to apply uh, this this kind of a, a yeah. spirituality. Yeah, morality. I'm sure a lot of people listening yeah. will be like, okay, we understand all of it, yeah. and they sound they, it might sound a little bit lofty to them, but like, mm-hmm. how do I actually apply this right, in right. everyday life? So this is, so yeah. that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. So this yeah. movie does have like a very three important messages that, mm-hmm. that can really apply to you as a guidepost of your life. So mm-hmm. one is called uh, one day one life. In this movie, uh, One Day, One Life is very, very important because it is, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, like, a, like a principle of, uh, of a house, of, of a family. Family principle that's being you know, transferred to, to the generation to generation to generation. And mm-hmm. this is uh, Shizuka's home. This is where she used to, you know, her, she was raised. And it's called One Day, One Life. What that means is like, you know, uh, uh, it's like uh, live legacy. each day. Yeah, yeah, live your each day as if it is your last day. In other words, one day, one life. Yeah. Let's say what hap- Let's say your life is gonna end seven p.m. tonight. Okay, one day you're gonna end. You never know what happens at seven p.m. tonight, right? You never know. Let's assume that it's gonna end tonight. You know, do you have any regret in your life? Did you re- do you have any regret in your day today? Mm-hmm. And I must say, even myself, everybody, oh, I should have done that, this, this, I, I should talk to this person. You would have so much regret in your life if you, if you uh, ain't going to end tonight. So that is not good. That is not good. So one day of my life means at least what you can do from today or every day is when you wake up in the morning, you know, think about the things that you can do for yourself and for others that would make uh, you progress, make other people happy, bring better life to other people, bring happiness to the world. Those are all the good, positive things that you can do within this one 24 hours or like 12 hours of the day. Think about that and, and you know, just do it. And because without that, days, years can go past by so quickly. Five, 10 years can go so quickly. And you look back and say, oh my God, I haven't done so much. I still have done so much more. You don't want to do that. So if you can take one day, break it down to each day, just think about that every day in the morning. Just one thing that you know you should do today and just act on it. 
That's like right. an idea of one day, one life. It's yeah. like a foundation. So be intentional. So be intentional about yeah. how you're living your life and think about how you're yeah. spending your time right. rather than living in the past and right. thinking about the future. Oh, the future, right? Now is the time. But now not just time. for yourself, but it has to be for the happiness of others as well. You know, that's yes. the important point. If you yes. want to live as a Bushido spirit, you know, compassion mm-hmm. is very important. So that's like a basic, basic foundation of your life. Then, and second point is, uh, um, it's, a, it's, it's the mindset. So now you know you have to be intentional about your everyday life. But there, you have to have a certain mindset because uh, your thoughts would manifest. You know, your thoughts determines your future. So who you think is who you are. And right? who you are going to think as is going to be who you are going to be in the future. So that was, in other words, you know, human beings, even though we, are, uh, you, we have body fresh, but 99 or 100%, we are thinkers. You know, we think. And your thoughts will determine your future. So it's important to have a positive mindset. I know everybody talks about this. You know, you're going to have a positive mindset. That's how you're going to attract road of attraction. Exactly. And we it's talked so about true. it in our last interview. It was all about the law yeah. of attraction. Yes. It's so true. You know, uh, you got to have a positive mindset, a, a positive mindset for the future. Even how difficult it is. Because mm-hmm. it's a turbulence of time, it's gonna get might get even worse, might get more difficult. But mm-hmm. within the difficult time, there's two different people. One person would uh, put all the responsibility to people uh, around you, or oh, because the government is this, because I lost my job, the company he did that, 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 that. You know, I have no. So money. stop complaining. Stop complaining. Put, yeah. I know it's their fault. It's not yours, especially in this, this, this situation. But the people who become successful is the one who doesn't say that. They'll just take it into themselves and say, okay, so I understand the situation, but it has to be something that's about me. So what is it I can do? I'm going to be responsible for my own life, self-help, yeah. and I'm going to move forward. That's like a positive mindset. So be accountable, be, right? Be yeah. accountable for when your you say, part. Yeah. yeah. When you say positive, I don't mean, oh, the life is beautiful, the sunshine. Yeah, and you know, be a Pollyanna. Really, yeah, yeah, really deeply inside yourself yes. where you have to be responsible and move forward, you take yeah. action, you move forward. So, you know, so that's the second point. Yeah. So have a, you know, guideline on how to live and also have a mindset how to live your day each day one by one. So that's the second point. There's one more which is very important. That is, it's pretty simple, but it's difficult. It is to be courageous and take action. Okay, because you know what you need to do. Now you have a positive mindset, but if you don't actually take action, nothing's gonna happen. If it's all in here, it's not gonna happen. You have to create what's happening outside of your world, in from what you think inside, and that's when the things gonna start to turn. So, you know, uh, fear is the most difficult, uh, uh, biggest uh, obstacle in our life. But so you need to take, be courageous and take action to overcome the fear. Fear is something, uh, if you think about it, fear is something that hasn't happened yet. You're fearful because it it hasn't happened yet. So why are you worried about the things that hasn't happened yet? You know, you don't have to think like that. So in order to overcome the fear, uh, the only thing you can do is to face that fear and take action. And when you take action, sometimes you realize, oh, it wasn't that bad. You know, you overcome the fear and that's how you can devote yourself and that's how you turn the wheel of your fortune in your life. So take action and, you know, be courageous and uh, take, you know, uh, do not be fearful. So those are the three points I think. As a Bushido spirit, uh, if you want to uh, take action every day, and the guide posts will be those three uh, maximum that uh, we'll be talking about. Right. In interviews. Yeah. Yes. And I, I noticed that all the characters in the movie demonstrated each one of these maxims that you just that's right. talked about. That's in a right. Big way. That's right. So, I mean, if yeah, you want right. to get inspiration, definitely mm-hmm. watch the movie because they yes. showed it in a big way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're all young kids. They just graduated from high school, I mean, college. College, and yeah. They're just becoming a, a, a new, new part of society, you know, a part of society. And, and, and they, but it's still different than other people is, is that they have this, this feeling about 
uh, it's called patriotism. You know, sometimes people don't like yeah, the word patriotism, yeah. but I think yeah. it's important because nowadays we're not talking about just a specific government patriotism, a specific person or country. We talk about the patriotism of the world. You know, we yes. need to love the earth and, yeah. and protect the earth. And you've and, lived around the world, so I'm sure you have that feeling. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I've been to. Uh, I was born in Japan. I lived in yes. Lebanon. Uh, they yes. I lived in the U.S. I traveled over thirty countries. So you're a citizen of the lot. world. Yeah, I met a lot of people. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, the last thing I want to do is fight. I don't want to fight with anybody. I just want to. I'm just too peaceful. <laughs> too much. I've seen too much, too many, and I just can't hate anybody. So yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to know, like, what um, what was the main uh, uh, motive behind the whole, um, the storyline that you created? Like, what did you want people to get out of, out of the movie? Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, it's important about, uh, I don't know, about, about uh, uh, of course, faith. Okay, uh, having, as we talked about, um, something that is bigger than us, that we need to be more humble about. You know, I think that's, that's like a very, very important, important aspect of this movie. But mm -hmm. also we wanted to show, show uh, not just, you know, uh, the fighting, and the, but it's more of a, uh, it's called Yamato spirit. Yamato spirit, Yamato means it's a, uh, Japan, like a beautiful country, Japan, maybe you want to put it that way. It's a very traditional, ancient time Japanese uh, spirit. So in this movie, uh, uh, they worship this original god. His name is uh, Ame no Miyoyagami. <laughs> I, I, you can't say that. It's Ame no Miyoyagami. It's supposedly, he's like the founding father god of Japan. And he created Japan uh, 30,000 years ago. So it's like, a, it's like a setup, you know, it's a scene where uh, there's a shrine type of thing where they, they worship Amino Miyagami and they hear the voice of his, his voice, you know, coming down and telling them, you know, you have to, you know, love Japan, you have to love other people, you have to protect this, you know, country and, to, and the world. And that's how they, they really realize they stand up and fight. So I think sometimes we do need to be guided by something. Uh, I know we can. You mean our not, intuition? Some people, yeah, but some people do hear the voices, but I, I personally don't hear the voice. I've got to be honest, I don't hear any voice. I don't know if you do, but some people do. Some people do hear it a lot. Yeah. Of, it's called inspiration, but we do yes. get a lot of inspiration. So I think it's very important. I wanted to uh, portray the message that be inspirational. You know, I don't want to say be spiritual and start thinking about uh, psychic power, thinking, but be inspirational and receive. Uh, be strength. open to receiving. Yeah, because each one of us have uh, the reason why we are living here today on Earth. And sometimes people's mission is big and some, sometimes people's mission is small. But it doesn't matter how big the size of mission is and how much influence you're going to have in the world. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's about yourself and what you accomplished as your soul and your spirit. And we believe, you know, this world is like a training ground for the souls. So when we die, we don't just disappear. We go back to heaven and we reincarnate. That's the kind of idea that we have in this movie. That's why people travel to a, a spiritual world. So uh, in other okay. words, uh, the life doesn't end just here, mm -hmm. right? And important to be received, inspiration, yeah, a spiritual inspiration and to be inspired to to take an action that mm -hmm. will bring a better life for others uh, mm -hmm. and for yourself as well. You don't want to sacrifice all everything about yourself, but yes. you want to put aside yourself but put them first. And think of the higher good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. Then it's gonna come back to you. Jesus said, you know, you give and you be given right so that's like mm. the, the most famous word from jesus christ that we all mm. know you give and you'll be given so start yes. giving and you'll be given yeah you know don't try and i think every religion 
every religion says that in some form or the other, you know? Some form. It's all the same. Yeah. One sauce. Yes, it's all the same. One sauce. But even though it's so simple, it's so difficult. And that's why we are in today's world. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. I, and I, I'm curious. I noticed that in the movie, none of these college students were using social media. I didn't see them scrolling yeah, through their yeah. phone. And I thought that was mm, mm, mm. interesting because mm. it is such a big part of society now. Mm, um, mm, and mm. I'm wondering if that's something you did on purpose or um, is it supposed to be a period movie before uh, we, the internet we, we, age? Uh, we didn't really, no, no, I don't think we, 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 we didn't really think about that too much, but that is... Yeah, you're right. If you really think about it, there's because a because that is see. affecting. It is mm -hmm. affecting people's yeah people in every That's facet right. of their life. You know, yeah. the fact that yeah, you talk yeah, about yeah. we become too egotistical and self centered. Yeah. That's because of this social media culture. Social media, um, That's true. and it's That's it's true. making us forget that we are connected to yeah. other people. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I was wondering if that was yeah. something sure, that was sure. intentional. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, not well, making them. In Use a way, it's kind of intentional because uh, uh, um, we are not against it. You know, we think it's the tool, science. You know, uh, it's very important as long as it helps us uh, progress as humanity. Mm. Then that's that's a positive thing. But if it's going to give us a negative impact because of that, like AI, you know, that we're going to uh, uh, AI world, like a meta world, where uh, virtual reality is becoming a reality. I think that is kind of a little dangerous because uh, uh, we are going a little too off or like implementing some kind of tip into your head or something. I don't know. We don't know the future yet how it's going to be. But um, I think uh, human to human, you know, heart to heart communication without anything else is the base. That's where the faith is, right? It's, it's the base of, of communication is where it starts for one by one, human by human. So... Uh, like, you know, like churches nowadays, because of COVID, they tend to go online, right? Online churches and online. It's great because people can jump on it. And it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, yeah. But we want to be connected as human to human. Right? We want to be yeah. able to speak and shake hands and hug each other. That's what human is all about. So uh, social media, if it's going to uh, take us away from that, then that is giving us a negative impact, I think. But there's a lot of positivity in it as well. So yeah. that's always good and bad, right? Right. Yeah. Because, you know, the samurais, they didn't have <laughs> the social media as over them. Right. It's like they were dealing with a very different uh, right. scenario in their time. So Yeah. I mean, um, when we were kids, we didn't have anything. You know, we used to fax machines to communicate, right? Yeah. So no emails. Yeah. Yes, All I phone. remember those days. You know, phone and, and no, no hand funny phone, just a regular phone, the dial phone. So it was just very recent. This innovation of our technology is very, very recent after 90s, after Microsoft came out. Yes. So uh, internet came out. So it's a recent trend of the world. So we still have to see how it will turn out in the next mm -hmm. 50, 100 years, years, and we'll see. But uh, at this point, uh, yeah, it is giving us a negative impact as well as positive, I think. We yeah. don't want to bully people or shut down uh, people by, you know, censoring and, you know, putting together some kind of a, a managed society. That is something, you know, we don't want to have. It's so socialist type of managed society is very dangerous. We need to have uh, the freedom of our soul and freedom of ourselves as well. And speech, of course, yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Yuichi. Um, thank you so much. For, thank you for sharing your inspiring mm -hmm. message and values from your from your beautiful country. Um, you know, I had a great time talking to you. For those who are mm -hmm. interested in watching the uh, yep. Cherry Bushido, where mm -hmm. can they see it? You can you can come to cherrybushidomovie.com. Cherry Bushido movie, just put movie behind cherrybushido.com. And mm -hmm. we are preparing the VOD uh, maybe soon, maybe uh, mm -hmm. the summer, later summer. So uh, when the movie BOD comes, anybody can watch it on the world. So if you're interested, just click us, you know, mark us up, or you can uh, subscribe to our uh, Instagram or Facebook, and we'll uh, definitely announce when it comes out so you go to to watch it. Okay, I'll make sure I add those handles uh, in the description. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
All right. Chain Bushido so, Movie dot com. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, okay, Yuichi, uh, arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You. And Thank speak you. to you again next week. Okay. Again. Take All care. Right. Take care. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.